Well, today we got Kodak Black, and now this new press run he's doing, he's showing a different side to him that's always been there, but he's just more open to being with the press and everything, and he's showing that he's a lot sharper than everybody thinks, and you can kind of see this. I mean, he kind of he kind of blueprinted his whole career, but uh, he lets you know how deep uh, and how sharp he was early on and he made the right choices and you, you gotta you, you gotta respect this guy it's Jordan Tell with JT News hit that bell at the subscribe button hit that thumbs up button guys I appreciate you guys so much so Kodak Black sat down with Wu Kid and this is probably one of his best interviews yeah I mean the Breakfast Club was fun because it showed like you know like a comedy side to Kodak Black which was cool like you know because we're just used to getting good music from Kodak Black and he does shocking things but He's showing more of his character in these interviews now. Like the one on Woo Kid, he showed how sharp he was early on in his career. Like Birdman wanted to sign him, right? And this had to be around like 2015, 14 or 15, when he started bubbling after No Flock in and everything. Birdman wanted to sign him, but this is around the same time Little Wayne tweeted out and let the fans know that there was a problem, okay? In about 2014, in December, <clears throat> Lil Wayne let people know that, hey, there's a problem with uh, Birdman. He said, so to all my friends, I want uh, to all my fans, I want you to know that my album won't and hasn't been released because Baby and Cash Money. Um, he said, why would I sign to Birdman when he's having problems with Wheezy? Birdman offered me a few million, but I didn't take it because... That's like, he related it to this. He said, that's like uh, your friend tells you this girl has AIDS. And then if you go mess with her, you're going to get AIDS too. But if, you, you know, if you're sharp enough, you don't go mess with her, right? Now, that's a harsh, very harsh comparison. But it, uh, it, it makes sense because, you know, while if someone told me, hey, don't go over there, they're, they're stealing from you. And go over there and get stolen from him. You can't, you can't play the victim anymore. So, uh, anyways, he didn't do that. Then he also talked about not signing to Boosie. He said Boosie called him around that time. And Boosie, like, the first way he started the conversation was, yo, bro, I'm playing your mixtape in the Wraith. So, he was like, at first, he's like, yo, why did he have to mention that he, or in the Ghost? He said, why do you have to mention he's in the Ghost? And, like, right then and there, he was kind of put off because he was like, why is this guy trying to flex on me from the go? You know, like just say you like my stuff, but he had to put the he had to flex on me right away. So then he said, "Yo, I want to come and see you and just you know drop you ten thousand, like so, implying that he wants to sign up for ten thousand. He said, "He said, yo, man, so I'm signing my life away for ten thousand dollars. I already had money, you know, from like being popping. I had I had money from doing local shows and everything. So." 10,000, that was kind of insulting to me. So, like, even though uh, I grew up on Boosie and I, I respect him, I couldn't make that move because I would have been disrespecting myself. And I was like, yo, this kid is business smart early. Like, he was young then, you know? Like, a lot of us would have made that mistake, you know? Like, just trying to get down and trying to get on. But he said when he came home, uh, when he, he had to go in and out real quick with, for, for jail around that time because, you know, we just had a colorful colorful past you know Kodak Black like goes in and out of jail well not anymore but he used to really a lot so uh he sat down with Atlantic and it was a better match there and that's what he did and obviously that's paying off anyways what do you guys think of this uh I'll try to find the Wukid interview and link it below so you guys can check it out for yourself it's a really dope interview uh I'll check you guys later appreciate you guys hit that thumbs up button I'll check you in the next one peace